Hi, I'm Mike. I'm at Chicago WebConf today with Kumar McMillan, who works with the uh, Mozilla Open Source. Uh, uh, well, we all know Mozilla. We all know Firefox. But there's also a Firefox OS that is is coming out, and, and Kumar is working with the team to help interact with the community. You're, well, can you tell, tell us a little bit about what Firefox OS is? Yeah, sure. Okay. So um, mobile apps have been kind of dominated by Android and iOS, mm -hmm. and so uh, at Mozilla, we just really wanted the web to be the platform for mobile apps. Yeah. And so we set out almost about a year ago to build um, a phone, basically, that's run by the Gecko engine. And you actually have one of those phones on you. I do. It's, it's yeah, a real yeah. thing. It's not... Yeah, it's, it's, it's happening. Not. It's there. You can't probably can't see it from the... Yeah. The camera here, but it's it's this is <laughs> this is working and um, it's it's uh I mean it's been open from day one and so that's sort of been a pretty pretty interesting part of, of the project. Yeah. So as soon as we started committing code to the Git repo, we just had people come out and and sort of say, Hey Mozilla, we've been doing the same thing in secret. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's, yeah. Let's, let's, let's let's like work together. Yeah. And, and build a phone together. And so, so that's sort of been the open source community. That it took a whole around. company out from the shadows and said, hey, let's actually start contributing to this thing and make it better for everybody. So yeah. they're, they're going to benefit. Mozilla's going to benefit. Yeah, definitely. Everybody. Yeah, and, and we have people, I, I mean, I, I tell a lot of people that one of the, one of the first times I started, started digging into the project, mm -hmm. I was working on IRC with someone to help me kind of get it built mm -hmm. and I was having some, some problems and um, I, I was, you know, this guy to help me out and then I was like, oh, hey, you know, do you, you know, I work for Mozilla in Chicago, where, where do you work? Yeah. And, and he said, oh no, I'm, I'm in Greece. <laughs> I don't work for Mozilla. You know, he was yeah. just somebody just, just on the project and that's sort of how open it is. Anyone can jump on IRC, mm -hmm. anyone could get involved, anyone can start submitting patches, you know, we have the Telefonica guys who are, who are helping mm -hmm. us do the launch in Brazil, and then they're committing to our repo every day, they're committing to Git, they're mm -hmm. putting their assigned bugs in our, our Bugzilla tracker, they're just part of the project, you know. So is, uh, when you're working on the open source project, especially one as big as, I mean the Firefox browser is a huge project, but I can only imagine how huge a uh, OS project is, is there, like oversight from Mozilla and like like a direction and then people just pick up things that interest them and they want to help out with or how does how does the community interact with this? Yeah, well it's really focused um, as in you know Mozilla employs a lot of people mm -hmm. to be working on this project and so you know there's there's like any project there's there's deadlines and you know there's there's a huge kind of um, you know, QA infrastructure, there's a big code review process for, for getting patches in, into the main line. Um, but there's, but like I said, there's just a lot of involvement from the community. We're working with people, uh, you know, now who are strategic partners, like the Telefonica Network, also Qualcomm, who is working on some of the chips, also, um, you know, people in Europe, and, and a lot of people are just here that, that we now kind of have some professional working relationships with because right. we're shipping a phone, but because it was open source, they basically, you know, we, we didn't sort of say, we didn't come to them right. in, behind closed doors. Okay. So uh, kind of like with the uh, Linux project, there's, you know, Linus is, is Linus has come out with some pretty strong, you know, opinions on how people should contribute. Do Does Mozilla have its own kind of guidelines that people can look at and say, oh, this is how I can contribute and how I could... Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. It, it's pretty structured. I mean, you have to, um, before any patch gets accepted, I mean, it has to go through a pretty extensive review process. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of that is just, you know, stylist. It's, it's stylistic reviews, but also, you know, we just... We need to make sure people are using the right APIs and when, you know, people aren't so familiar with, you know, really low-level mm -hmm. parts of the system. Part of the code review will be like, oh no, you need to like, you know, pass messages back and forth yeah. with this API instead right. of this API, just stuff like that. And that keeps the quality at a good level, um, you know. And the, um, you, you kind of talked a little bit about this neat interaction with this guy in Greece who's not even on the team, but he's just 
helping you because he wants to contribute. Has there, has there been any other kind of really interesting interactions with people contributing from the community, good or bad? Uh, just is there anything that like pops to mind aside from? Yeah, well, it's um, I actually work um, more specifically on the uh, marketplace, which is our app store mm -hmm. for the phone, and so I, I, I work also on payments, and so that's. Um, it's it's a, a website. It's it's a Python run mm -hmm. website. So that's kind of this, this a standalone project. It's a little separate from Firefox OS, mm -hmm. and it's been kind of hard to get outside contributors involved in that. Okay. We have a lot of documentation for how to set it up. It's not really easy to set it up, but you know we've documented everything so you can set it up. Okay. But we've seen a lot of people jump in that that you know find us wherever on the web. They just see that Mozilla is open source. They mm -hmm. see that the app store that we're building is it's open awesome. source. And they try to get involved. They kind of jump on IRC and it's like, hey, I spent a day building this project. I'm stuck here. And, you know, we try to help them, but sometimes everyone's busy. And <laughs> Yeah, you, you can't know, always so, help like you'd like to. Yeah, so, so people kind of come and go like that with, with open source. They get a little frustrated mm -hmm. and, and, then, and then they leave. So, you know, we're, we're doing stuff to make it easier. We're making, like, you know, vagrant images so that people can just do, like, a one-click install and have mm -hmm. a virtual machine that, that's running a development version of the app store. So we're actually, we make a really um, strong effort, you know, time permitting, so that we can get outside contributors, because that's that's the core of Mozilla. Mozilla is not the size of Google, you know, or or you know the, the people we're kind of competing with, mm -hmm. um, you know, are the size of Mozilla. Like the employees are, is basically the size of a single project at right. Mozilla, for example. Like the Google Plus team is probably the size of all of Mozilla, <laughs> and you know, yeah, that's, that's a little scale difference. Yeah, it? yeah. So we're trying to build a phone, and we're just Mozilla, you know. So it's yeah. actually, uh, you know, one of the things we've always done, and the reason why Firefox has been so successful, um, you know, in in what it set out to do, which was like, you know, make the web a kind of level playing field, mm -hmm. take over Internet Explorer, which no one thought was possible at the time. Uh, is because we work with the community right. and because it's open source. And uh, just before we wrap up here, you work with uh, uh, an online radio station. Yes. Can you, can you just give a little plug for that and, and describe what you're doing there? Because you said that's sure. also open source. Yeah, it's uh, chirpradio.org, and it's you know it's funny. I, I tell people it's 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 a nonprofit, just like mm -hmm. Mozilla, and and in in a lot of ways it's. It's similar to Mozilla, but at a, at a obviously very much smaller scale. Mm -hmm. um, we, everything is open source. All our, our software is open source, and and we really work with the community as much as possible. It's it's built entirely by volunteers, okay. and and it's it's a, a what lot is, of fun. If somebody wanted to listen to what what kind of music is it? It's all kinds of music. Okay. Chirpradio.org. We broadcast about um, eighteen hours a day now. So Seven chirp chirp like is in. Birdie Chirp, yeah, C H yeah. I R P. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, one word, chirpradio.org. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, Mike.